good sister, wrong me not, nor wrong yourself, to make a bondmaid and a slave of me. That I disdain. But for these other girls, unbind my hands, I pull them off myself. Yea, hold my raiment to my petticoat. Of what you will command me will I do. So well I know my duty to my elders. Of all thy suitors here, I charge thee tell whom thou lovest best. See thou dissemble not. Believe me, sister, of all the men alive, I never yet beheld that special face which I could fancy more than any of Me? Thou lovest? Is all our tale with you? If you affect him, sister, here I swear I'll plead for you myself, but you shall have him. Oh, then be like you fancy riches more. You will have Grigo to keep you fair. Is it for him you do it for you so? <laughs> then you jest, and now I will proceed. You have but jested with me all this while. I pray thee, sister, keep on tie my hands. But that we jest all the rest was so. Why, well, how now, Dick? What incident is this? Yes, yeah, stand aside. Oh, girl, she weeps. Go play thy needle. Shame thou building of a devil's spirit. How is that wrong with the dear lock thee? And did she cross thee with a bitter word? Thy silence flatters me that I shall be with thee. What is in my sight? Get it, get it. Nay, now I see she is your treasure. She would have a husband. I was down fair for not her wedding, and for your love to her leaves in hell. No, talk not to me. I will go sit and weep till I can find occasion for revenge. Was ever a gentleman thus grieved as I? Signor Baptista, my business has been faced, and every day I come up with you. knew my father well, and he knew me, that solely heir to all his lands and goods, which I have better rather than decreased. Then turn, if I get your daughter's love, what dowry shall I have to her to wife? After my death, you shall have half my lands and twenty thousand crowns. And for that dowry, I'll assure her of her widowhood, be it that she survives me, in all my lands and leases whatsoever. Let specialities be therefore drawn between us, that covenants might be held on either hand. Ah, when the special deed is done, that is our love, for me. that is all wrong. That is nothing, for I tell you, Father, I am as peremptory as she, proud minded. And where two raging fires meet together, they do consume the thing that feeds their fury. Though little fires grow great with little wind, yet extreme gusts will blow out the fire and all. And so I to her, and so she yields to me, for I am rough, and who not by the shame. <laughs> well, mayest thou who would happy be thy speed. <laughs> uh, but be thou one for some unhappy words. Will you go with us, or shall I send my daughter Kate to you? I pray you do, I'll attend her here. And woo her with some spirit when she comes. Say that she read. Why then I'll tell her plain she sings as sweetly as a nightingale. Say that she fell. Why, then I'll say she looks as clear as morning roses newly washed with dew. Say she be mute and will not speak a word. I'll commend her volubility and say she uttereth piercing elements. If she do bid me pack, I'll give her thanks. As though she said, stay by me a week. If she deny to wait, I'll crave the day when I shall ask the bands and when be married. And here she comes. And now should you see. <clears throat> Good morrow, Kate. For Kate's only my dear. Well, have you heard of something hard of hearing? They call me Catherine, that you talk of me. You lie in faith, uh, for you are called uh, plain Kate, uh, bonny Kate, sometimes Kate the Cursed, but Kate, the prettiest Kate in Christendom, Kate of Kate Hall, my super dainty Kate, for dainties are all Kates. And therefore, Kate, take this of me, Kate of my consolation, hearing thy mildness praised in every town, thy virtue spoken of and thy beauty sounded, yet not so deeply as to be belongs. Myself am moved to woo thee for my wife. <laughs> moved in good time. 
Let he who moved you hither remove you hence. I knew you from the first, you were movable. Why, what's the movable? A joint stool. Thou hast hit it, come, <gasps> sit on me. Oh, asses are made to bear, and so are you. Women are made to bear, and so are you. No such change as you and me, you mean. Well, I will not bear thee, for I know thee to be but young and light. Too light for such a swain as you to catch. And yet as heavy as my weight should be. Should be, should buzz. How oh, well tamed like a buzzard. Hello, oh, slowing turtle, shall a buzzard take thee? I for turtle if he takes a buzzard. Come, come, you wasp, in faith you are too angry. If I be waspish, best beware of my stick. My remedy is then to pluck it out. <laughs> Who can find where it lies? Who knows not where a wasp don't wear his sting? In his tail. <gasps> in his tongue. Tongue. Yours if you talk of tails, and so farewell. What? With my tongue in your tail? Nay, hey, come again, good Kate. I am a gentleman. That I'll try. <laughs> I swear I'll cuff thee if you strike again. Oh, so may you lose your arms. You strike and you are no gentleman. And if no gentleman, why then no arms? A herald gate, oh, put me in thy box. <laughs> what is your crest? A cough go? A countless cock, so Kate will be my hen. <laughs> no cock of mine, you croak to like a craven. Come, Kate, come, you must not look so sour. It is my fashion when I see a crab. Well, here's no crab, therefore look not sour. <laughs> there is, there is. Then show it me. Had I a glass, I would. What do you mean, my face? Oh, well, aimed am just such a young one. Now, by St. George, I am too young for that. <laughs> Yet you are with it. Tis with cares. I cannot. Nay, hear you, Kate, in soup you skate, not so. I shake you if I carry let me go! No, not a wind, I find you passing gentle. Twas oh. told me that you were rough and coy and sullen, but now I find report a very liar. But thou art pleasant, gamesome, passing courteous, but slow in speech. Yet oh. sweet as my high flowers. Thou canst not frown, thou canst not look askance, nor bite the lip as angry wenches will. Nor hast thou pleasure to be cross and talk, but thou admirers entertainst thy wooers with gentle confidence, soft and at all. Why does the world of that Kate doth live? O oh, slanderous world! Kate, like the hazel twig, is straight and slender, and as brown in hue as hazelnuts and sweeter than the kernels. Oh, let me see thee walk, thou dost not halt! Go fool in whom thou keeps command. Did ever Diane so become a grove as Kate this chamber with her princely gate? Oh, be thou Diane, and let her be Kate, and then let Kate be chest and Diane sportful. Where did you learn all this goodly speech? <laughs> it is extempore, on my mother wit. Oh, would you, mother? Oh, would it does her son? Am I not wise? Yes, keep you warm. Marry, so I mean, sweet Catherine, in thy bed. And therefore, setting all this chat aside thus in plain terms, your father hath consented that you shall be my wife. Your dowry agreed on, and will you, nil you, I will marry you. Now, Kate, I am a husband for your turn, for by this night whereby I see thy beauty, thy beauty that doth make me like thee well, thou must be married to no man but me. For I am he and born to tame you, Kate, and bring you from a wild Kate to a Kate conformable as other household Kates. Here comes your father. Never make denial. I must and will have Catherine to my wife. Oh no, you see the Petruchio? <laughs> how but well, sir, how but well, it were impossible I should speed amiss. How now, uh, daughter Katrina? In your dumps? <laughs> Call you me daughter. Mm -hmm. I promise you, you have shown a tender fatherly regard to wish me way to one half lunatic, a mad cap rapier, and a swearing jack who thinks with oath to face the matter out. Father, oh. tis thus. Yourself and all the world that talked of her have talked of this of her. If she be cursed, tis for policy, for she's not forward but modest as the dove. She's not hot but temperate as the morn. For patience, she will prove a second bristle. And Roman Lucrece for her chastity. And to conclude, we have agreed so well together that upon Sunday is the wedding day. Oh, I see thee hanged on Sunday first. Hark you, Petruchio, shall see thee hanged. Is this your sweet and maid and good night, our part? Be patient, gentlemen. I choose for myself. If she and I be pleased, what's that to you? Tis bargain twixt us twain being alone that she shall still be cursed in company. I tell you, tis incredible to believe how much she loves me. 
Oh, the kind of speech. She hung about my neck, and kiss on kiss she fired so fast that in the twink she won me to her love. <laughs> you are novices. Tis a world to believe when men and women are alone. How tame a meek wretch can make the curse as true. Give me thy hand, Kate. I will unto Venice to buy apparel against the wedding day. Provide the feast, father, and bid the guests. I will be sure my Catherine will be fine. Well, I do not know what to say. <laughs> Give me your hands. God send you joy, Petruchio. Tis a match. Amen, Amen say we. We, we will be witnesses. <laughs> father. And what? <laughs> and gentlemen, adieu. I will to let us survive her against the wedding day. We will have rings and things and fine array. <laughs> we will be married on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs>